UH Warrior football team. Hawaii opened workouts today in Manoa for the second spring session in the Greg McMacken era. The first of 15 practices over the next month went down this afternoon. 114 players are on the spring roster, but many of them will not make it to fall camp. The next four weeks will serve as the players' opportunity to either earn a roster spot or maybe even make inroads towards a starting position. Some of the issues at hand for Coach Mack and his troops. Compensating for the loss of nine starters on defense as well as shoring up an offensive line that allowed an NCAA record 59 sacks last year. Not to mention the addition of a couple of new faces on the coaching staff and veteran O-line coach Gordy Shaw and former Nevada headman Chris Tormey who will oversee the special teams. So a lot on the agenda for Coach Mack and company. Our John Venary is down at the UH practice field with reaction to the first day of spring drills. John. What's up, Kanoa? I tell you what, I'm pumped up, and I know this guy is jacked. We're joined now live by uh, Coach Greg McMacken. Coach, uh, what did you think of your, your first day of spring ball? You know, I thought it was a good start. Uh, you know, we've got to find our identity. And one, one thing this team has done in the offseason, it's, it's got an excellent work ethic. And that's all it is at this point. We don't have any pads on, but their work ethic is, is very good. Well, uh, 15 days, I mean, uh, what is your first uh, and most important objective of this team? Well, every team has a personality, and we're working on our personality. Uh, I like the way we threw the football and caught the football. There were very few drop balls. Uh, we've got more speed. Uh, our defense, uh, we worked a lot on the swarm drill. Uh, we, had, we have guys that can run on defense, so we just have to continue to get better and build all three phases of the game. Getting those fundamental down fundamentals down big time we've, we've got to work on techniques fundamentals and and work on our schemes not to make you nervous 158 days to kick off that's great bring those mothers on <laughs> we're, we're excited about that and we're working hard for that great coach it's going to be great to see you out here and uh, thank you for joining hey, us live hey, Kanoa that's it from hey, here Kanoa all right. all right thank you so much appreciate it coach. appreciate it that's it live from here this is John Venary K2 Sports Welcome back, everyone. We're exactly 158 days, yeah, count them, away from the season opener for the University of Hawaii football team. That's right, and today an opportunity to get a look at the team, not only us, but more specifically the coaches. And Jason Tang is live at the first of 15 practices with the head warrior himself, Coach Mack. Take it away. Well, guys, you know, last year was a challenge for Coach Mack. He lost nine offensive starters this year. He loses nine defensive starters and all his specialists. But he's joining us right now, and Coach, Talk about that challenge. I mean, that, that's quite a challenge for you to have to replace first your offense last year, but now, now your defense. Well, you know, I, last year offensively, uh, you know, it is tough because you've you've you run an offense that uh, is in a package and 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 very very highly uh, technical. Uh, defensively, uh, you know, I'm, I, that doesn't bother me at all because we've got uh, we just have to find 11 guys that are going to run like a mother to the football and hit somebody, and we have those kind of guys. So I'm excited uh, with that challenge. Uh, you know, uh, one thing about this group, uh, this football team, which we have to find an identity with this team, is they have an excellent work ethic. Uh, we don't have any stars, but we've got a lot of good players, and they work very hard, and, and uh, we just have to get better every day. First day of spring practice, what did you see out there? What did you like? Uh, what do you guys got to work on? Well, I like the way the receivers caught the ball, the quarterbacks threw the ball. We're way ahead of last year. I mean, we're like a year ahead of last year on, on offense. Uh, we still have to put it all together and get defenders out there. Uh, defensively, I really like the way we run. I, like I said, I like our work ethic. Uh, all of our special teams guys are going to be freshmen next year, but they're really good freshmen. Uh, we're going to be working on our new punt scheme. Uh, you know, I really liked how the guys coached. Uh, we have a great teaching team, and that's what we need right now. We need great teachers and a lot of learning going on, and I liked what I saw in that. All right, so Coach Mack, we're running out of time, but he's going to stick around, and at K5 News at 6.30, we're going to have more with Coach Mack. So, guys, we'll send it back to you for now. Sports Director Jason Tang is standing by live with Hawaii Head Football Coach Greg McMacken. Well, Steph, just to let you know how good of a guy head coach Greg McMacken is, it's 30 minutes past practice, but yet he's still here and very happy to talk to us. Now, Coach, thanks for being with us. No, thank you, Jason. So first off, again, talking about your offense, you already tagged Greg Alexander as your go-to quarterback. Why so early and what kind of confidence do you have in him? Well, Greg Alexander earned the position last year. He, he was the guy that, uh, uh, you know, learned the offense, uh, took the reps, uh, won some games for us. 
Uh, you know, we need now our, our quarterbacks know the offense. As you saw, the receivers, uh, we need to continue to get better, but the receivers uh, know where they're going. And, you know, we're going to go four reps with Greg, uh, two with Shane, two with Brent uh, in the backup positions. But you have to make a decision, and Greg is the, is the guy we're going with. Now, looking at the t statistics, you know, a point of concern would have to be the amount of sacks you guys gave up last in the FBS. Just talk about what you want to do to shore up that, that, that issue there. Well, that's one reason, uh, you know, one reason we brought in Gordy Shaw. He's one of the best in the game. Uh, he's already working with our offensive line. Uh, I think we have good offensive linemen, so I don't think that's going to be a problem. The, the thing about sacks is it's partly on the quarterback, partly on the receivers, and partly on the line. So it's something that we're going to work towards. We obviously know what our problems were. This is this year's team. That was last year's team. We, we're working on this year's personality, and sacks aren't a part of it. And for you, Coach, this is your second year as a head coach. Just talk about what did you learn from last year that you want to apply this year? Well, I'll tell you what, you know, I've been the head coach of the defense for a long time, and I, I've been a head coach at a you know, small college and high school. But, but here, things just went so fast that first year. And it's been so good to, number one, be able to coach off the film from last year that are our coaches coaching and be able to teach off of that. Uh, and things have slowed down a little bit, so I can co spend more time coaching the coaches and spending more time with the players. And I still want to get out and, and talk with anybody that, uh, you know, that I need to talk to. But it, it's, it's slower this year. Last year, it was a blaze, all the way from when I got the job to the bowl game. Now, every year, you always seem like a, a guy will break out and have a great performance that nobody really expected. Who do you think would be, be a candidate for, you know, breakout player of the year, I guess? Well, I don't know. I think, I think we have uh, a lot of guys. We redshirted all of our JC receivers last year and DBs. Uh, you know, we've, you know, we've been thinking ahead. We brought in guys at midterm. Uh, you know, uh, Billy Ray Stutzman is here. We've got 10 guys that are here early uh, in the spring and we'll get to go through a spring ball. So I think we have some names of guys that are going to break out, but I think, I think we've got several. And finally, Coach, you had three goals last year. You wanted to win the WAC graduate 100% of your players and make it to a bowl game. Has anything changed this year in terms win, of goal? Win the bowl game. You know, we want to win the bowl game, period. Uh, going to a bowl game isn't good enough. Uh, uh, this year's team, we want to win the bowl game. All right, Coach Mack, he's had a long day, so we'll, we'll let him off the hook, but we always appreciate you joining us, Coach. All right. And just, uh, Steph, mark your calendars because on the 11th, the Warriors will be on Maui to scrimmage there. And on the 18th, Coach Mack has his coaching clinic here. And then on the 25th, is the Warrior Bowl at Aloha Stadium. And Junior Day. We're and bringing junior all the day. top juniors in. There we go. There we go. All right, all right Steph, we'll send it back to you. Mahalo.